Today we're in my hometown of LaPorte, Indiana, and we're going to take you around the town. Laporte, which is French for the door, was founded in 1832. By 1835, it had already grown large enough that it became incorporated as a town. Now, by 1842, Laporte Medical School was actually launched here, which was the first of its kind in the Midwest, and it sat where Lincoln School is today. Now, what you may not know is that William Mayo, an alumnus of Laporte Medical School, went on to found the famed Mayo Clinic in 1889 in Minnesota. Okay, well, we're charity down at Hotspot Cafe in Laporte, and you know, it's funny. The name's Hotspot, and it really has kind of become a hotspot in Laporte. So, Charity, first of all, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. And uh, I'd love for you to share with us a little bit about uh, Hotspot, some of the things you guys do down here, because I know there's so many different activities happening in here all the time. Share with us a little bit about what's going on. Well, what we're doing down here is we want to be a fun place to come. We have bubble tea, which if you've not tried it, this is so much fun, bite the bubble. Um, we have board games, we have open mic night, um, come in and uh, spend time reading a book, writing a book. We have several writers that come in. Wow. We're just a fun kind of like place to come and hang out. We got seating outside, um, great coffee, fabulous cold brew. The difference between cold brew and iced coffee is iced coffee is for the traditional method and poured over traditional ice cubes. So after a while it becomes watered down and you're just drinking kind of brown water. Cold brew is never heated. You grind the beans, you put them in filtered water, they sit in, the, in brew for 24 hours in the refrigerator. Um, we make our ice cubes with the cold brew coffee. Um, so you get cold brew ice cubes and cold brew coffee so it's never watered down and actually kind of refills itself as the ice yeah. cubes melt you get more cold brew coffee so and it's a definite difference in taste uh, let's talk about your bubble tea because i know that's been like that, that became like the talk of the town a couple years ago and i mean it's still to this day people love it i mean you get just so many different flavors but for those that maybe don't know what bubble tea is why don't you share with us what bubble tea is and then maybe some of the crazy flavors you guys have as well. Okay, so uh, bubble tea actually was invented in Taiwan, the street vendors competing with each other, and it started out with uh, tapioca pearls in the bottom of flavored tea, milk tea. Poppy pearls, however, bursting bubbles, boba, whatever you want to call them, fabulous. Right. So we have more than 35 flavors, and you can mix and match however you want. Um, we blend it with a black tea and half and half base. We put in the flavor and then um, we pour it over these tiny little bubbles. Quarter inch bubbles, you get a giant straw. When you drink the tea, you suck up that bubble through that straw and you bite the bubble. And when you bite it, you get a burst of fruit juice. We have pomegranate bubbles, mango bubbles, vanilla yogurt, and bleaching flavored bubbles. Just so fun to just bite that bubble. Again, I'm not a coffee person. I'm not a huge tea person either. So when I came in the first time, and Charity was here, and she asked me if I wanted to try the bubble tea. I was like, eh, we I don't have know. that video. I don't know. Um, it does not taste like what a traditional tea would taste like, not. especially with all the flavors added. Now, I will share with you guys this. If you're an eggnog person, I personally love the eggnog bubble tea uh, with yogurt bubbles. Amazing. But uh, I know my daughter comes in here. She gets, uh, I think, a mint one most of the time. Some friends get. Uh, chocolate covered cherry or something like that is one of the flavors. Chocolate you get everything. <laughs> so I, I know a lot of the high school kids have come down here and what's great is they can come down here after school, they'll get their bubble tea, they sit and they do their homework, but uh, it's a great place to just hang out too. You guys have free Wi-Fi here as well, we do. correct? We do. Okay. 
So students can come down, hang out, business people. I've had business meetings in here myself. I know I've been in here when other people have business meetings in here. They've got the Wi-Fi available to them. Huge event for you guys has been your coffee and canvas events that people literally come from all over the region to be a part of. When they have family members in town, they bring them down for the coffee and canvas events. Um, and looking at your wall, I mean, it's just, there's so many up there now, different different ones that you guys have done. And I know that you've done some that are geared towards, you know, younger children as well. And, but overall, it's kind of a family event as it is. Um, for $25 currently, you come in, um, you get the canvas, the easel, the paint, the brushes, even the coffee. Uh, uh, baby wipes, because you know, if you don't have paint all over, you didn't have a good time. <laughs> it's, it's all about having fun. We bring you everything you need. You just sit down, um, follow the instructions, and you take home a masterpiece. Um, examples of that, of course, are on our Facebook page and on our website, too. So, right. yeah. and, how, and how do people uh, get registered for those events if they'd like to be part of that? Good question. Uh, there's three ways you can call us on the phone and register. You can um, go to our website, hotspotcafe.net. Um, if you go to our Facebook page, you can click the link which takes you to hotspotcafe.net or um, you can come on in. You can look at the pictures in person and see for real if this is something you think you can do. But they're all, they're all doable. Absolutely. Um, and then a, a more recent addition is, and I know you touched on it a, a little bit earlier, is your open mic nights that you guys are doing now. Open mic nights, so much fun. Bring your talent down. It's every other Friday. Currently we're outside. When yes. the weather gets cooler, we'll, we'll bring it in. So, and musicians, poetry, whatever, you know, bring it in and, and let us hear. We'll, uh, we'll give you the love that you deserve. Right. For whatever your talent is. Right. Off key or not. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's, I, I know that you've had some incredible musicians. You've had, like I said, poetry readings, a lot of uh, awesome people coming down. And you really never know what to expect when you come down to that. You don't know who's gonna be here. And, uh, and, and what you're gonna get to see in here. So it's a great event to come down here for. Grab some bubble tea while you're down here. Grab a cold brew while you're down here. Grab a Danish. You guys have some Danishes and Absolutely. things now as well. So there's a few things to eat. And you know, we do live in Northwest Indiana. So I would be remiss if I didn't at least mention your steamer bar as we get into the colder months. Uh, you can come in here and get steamers. Obviously I get mine more like hot chocolate. But um, you guys have different flavor steamers and stuff as well, is that right? Every flavor that we have for bubble tea will go in a steamer or a coffee. Oh. So 35 plus flavors. I mean, the more you mix it, the more you add it. And, uh, and it's right here in downtown LaPorte. What's, what's the address here? We're 602 Lincoln Way. So we're right on the corner of Clay and Lincoln Way, just opposite the park downtown. One thing we forgot to admit is our pay it forward board. Yes. So the way the pay it forward board works is um, somebody comes in and they buy a cup of coffee for somebody, we take the receipt and we stamp it and initial it and put it on the board. Then somebody in need um, can take the receipt and turn it in and they get the value of that receipt and whatever. Even if you buy like a coffee for somebody, um, this one, he wanted pop. So instead of getting coffee, he got pop. That's excellent. And that's fine. So it doesn't have to be specific to it's a coffee you have to get. And, and that, that's so important. I mean, you guys are giving back to the community. Uh, we actually got to witness that today, too. Uh, a, a gentleman that redeemed that. And, uh, you know, so it, when you're in here, get your coffee, get your bubble tea. You know, get, get grab, you know, grab a Danish, grab something that you can put on that board. And they'll put that up there and you know that somebody in need is going to be able to take advantage of that. And, uh, and you guys are paying it forward, which is super exciting. We'd love to see that in these uh, communities. Yeah, and that, that's a partnership through the Journey Church that we're doing that with. So, yeah, it's great. You know, a feel-good place, really. That's yeah. what I've always wanted, was a feel-good place. Come on in, hang out. We know you. We're friends. Absolutely. You guys, you got to stop in. I mean, I think we, 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 we'll be blown away. You'll be blown away. I know that. Uh, great environment, great people, great staff. When you're down here, join their loyalty rewards program. Uh, I mean, guys, you guys, it's just there's so many things we can talk about. Your loyalty rewards program. Uh, you guys have your key tag discount for the bubble tea, so make sure you've downloaded the app so you guys can take advantage of your key tag dis discount as well. If you haven't downloaded the app, text TSLN to 43506. 
You'll get your app, you show them the app, you get your 20% off, boom, it's a done deal. So, um, Charity, thanks so much for taking the time today. I know you, you're very, very busy, but thanks for taking the time to uh, sit down and chat with us today. We're looking forward to uh, spending a lot more time in here, and we're looking forward to the brand new people walking through the door that haven't tried you guys that are going to fall in love and come back Every over day. and over again. Every day we get new people in. It's fabulous. Thanks for uh, having me, Of Nick. course. Thank you. It's a pleasure. here at Northside Barbecue in LaPorte, Indiana. And I'll tell you what, when it comes to barbecue, this place has got it down. I've had barbecue uh, lots of places all over the country, and this place is by far one of the most amazing barbecue places around. Now, it's situated right here in LaPorte, right off of Pine Lake, which is a great location anyway, when you look out these windows and you can look over Pine Lake. Now, I just ordered their uh, pulled pork sandwich. My wife, who's off camera, actually ordered what's called the Big Hillbilly. Now, she got it without the cheese, but it's got bacon and pork and onions and, I mean, all sorts of crazy stuff on there. Now, when you come out here, one, one thing that's always kind of fun is when the owner's here, he loves to give you a hard time. In fact, I was in here the other day, and I heard him talk to somebody, and somebody asked what the difference was between the um, uh, spicy barbecue sauce and the hot sauce, and his answer was one's hot and one's not. Now that seems pretty uh, you know, simple, but it's funny because he always just likes to have a good time with people. So when you come out here, make sure that you try some of their uh, the, the different meats. Their um, brisket is unbelievable. You gotta try their brisket. Uh, I mean, they smoke it for hours and hours and hours. So uh, it's pretty amazing. So we're gonna take you guys through this experience with us. It's gonna be an amazing time. I can't wait to dive in. So we just got our food, and as you guys can see right here, this looks amazing. So I got the spicy barbecue sauce on mine with the fries. Now, it's really a great value, um, $6.95 for the barbecue pulled pork sandwich with fries. Um, you get to choose which sauce you want. Like I said, their brisket as well is unbelievable. Um, today, they're actually their uh, their their special today is rib tips with a side for eight ninety five. So it's really cost effective. A lot of barbecue places that you go to are, uh, are really expensive. This one is very cost effective that you can actually bring your family out, enjoy uh, lunch or dinner. Uh, the place right now is uh, is packed inside for lunch as well. Um, so it's just a great, great, great place to come out. Now we're gonna dig in right now and show you guys what this is all about. I can't even, I literally can't even get my hands around it without uh, getting my hands soaked here. So here we go. Mm. It was unbelievable. It was just so good. I'll tell you what, it might make a mess, but it's worth it to come down here and try this and just, just slop it up, man. You know, grab the ribs, the brisket, whatever, slop it up, get the sauce on it, and dig in. This is unbelievable. Now, one thing I really love about this place, too, is their fries. I don't put any seasoning on them because how they cook them, they're just so good as it is. So uh, come down, try them out. It's un un unbelievable. You guys will be happy that you came down to Northside Barbecue in LaPorte and try them out. We're going in. Okay, so just polished off the pulled pork sandwich and fries. It was absolutely, uh, absolutely amazing. Now, another big thing here that uh, people love is the Mississippi nachos. It's potato chips with pulled pork, uh, cheese, sour cream, jalapenos. I mean, and it's a huge portion of it. So people love the Mississippi nachos. Now, another thing you can do is actually get meat by the pound here. So you can get the brisket. Um, the pulled pork, they do have chickens here as well. And then um, with 48 hours notice, they can actually do uh, like party packs as well. So if you're having an event and you wanna uh, get theirs, just give them 48 hours notice and they can get those party packs available to you as well. Now, another thing actually, just while we were sitting here, a couple gentlemen uh, shared with us that what they really love 
is the smoked wings that they do on Wednesdays and they do tacos on Thursdays. So if you're in the area on a Wednesday or Thursday, you wanna stop in for those couple things as well. Um, so they're always doing kind of fun stuff here, have uh, different daily specials going on, and it's just a great place to sit down and eat. There's something for everybody here. And uh, again, uh, don't forget, uh, they've got the pork, the brisket, the chickens, they've got uh, their Mississippi nachos, they've got the catering, they've got the meat by the pound, they've got the chicken wings on Wednesdays, the tacos on Thursdays, tons of stuff going on right here at Northside Barbecue in Laporte. It's worth the drive. If you're not from this area, it's worth the drive to come in here to Northside and you'll be blown away by what happens inside your mouth when you eat here. So Laporte obviously has some beautiful golf courses, incredible lakes, wonderful shopping, and delicious restaurants. But we also have a Laporte County Historical Society that has some unbelievable history in it. And we're gonna take a look around. All right, everybody, we're out here at Cutler Funeral Home and Cremation Center with Dale. And, uh, you know, they've, they've done so much for the community, given back to the community, and uh, really just taken care of families in uh, what I would say is probably their biggest time of need. So, Dale, first of all, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate um, it. If you would share with us uh, maybe a little bit of the history first on, on Cutler Funeral Home and Cremation Center, uh, how long you guys have been around, uh, when you took over the business as well. Sure. Well, Cutler's has been in business since 1896. Wow. Um, we're actually in our, location-wise, we're in our third physical location within the city. We moved in this particular building in 1994, and uh, that's when I came on staff here. Okay. And uh, my wife, Tanya, and I purchased the funeral home and business from Bob and Cindy Cutler when they retired at the end of uh, 2011. Yeah, 2011. Very good. Um, now, I know you offer several different services here. So you offer traditional funerals and you offer cremation services as well. Is that correct? Sure, that's correct, yes. Um, the biggest question we get is, do you offer cremation? And I tell folks, well, every funeral home offers cremation. And so when it comes to celebrating somebody's life, you can do that in a, a a numerous different ways. There's, sure. there's nothing cookie cutter today. Sure. You know, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, everything was pretty much the same. Right. And so we're going to celebrate somebody's life, no matter if they're going to have a casketed burial, if they're going to have a, a cremation service, or what the financial structure is, we're going to celebrate that person's life. And so when it comes to cremation, um, folks still will opt to have a viewing sometimes. Sure. They'll use what we call a rental casket. 
Okay. They don't need to purchase an entire casket that's going to be cremated. They can simply rent one. Oh, that's great. For the service. And so sometimes folks, when they have cremation, they'll have viewing. And then instead of going to the cemetery immediately following the service, cremation takes place. Sure. And so um, cremation does give folks a lot of different options today than uh, the traditional, what we would call a casketed burial. Right. And so we're a family-owned business. We, we live here. We raise our family here. We shop here. Um, and so it's... It's it's more than a business. It's we, right. we kind of view it as a ministry. I know that you guys have some pretty major like give back projects that you do with the community as well. Um, I believe one of them is called Bundle Up Laporte. Is that right? Yes. Can you share with us a little bit about the Bundle Up Laporte and what you guys? Because it's been a handful of years now. Yeah, right? I want to say we're probably this is probably going to be year twelve. And a Bundle Up Laporte in a nutshell is um, folks donate new or gently used winter coats, hats, boots. Um, we have adult items that are donated. We have folks that donate money towards it. And we set up two dates, uh, generally um, in the end of October and first part of November, and those should be being released here in, in September, those dates. And um, we set up a time with a local church to have a distribution at, and then the PAC Center oh, in LaPorte, uh, we uh, have a, a date to distribute things there. And so the money that's donated generally will go to gift cards to be given to the grade school counselors um, because you have kids that come to school, believe it or not, with no socks on, wow. no undergarments on. And so uh, to be able to provide those things, we gift gift cards to the counselors to be able to buy those special need items that students may need. Right. And so... Um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's um, the outpouring of this community when it comes to that. The number of coats that are donated every single year is just its just remarkable. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. Now, another uh, project that you guys did, I think it started last year. Is that right? The Stockings for Soldiers? Stocking for Soldiers. This is going to be our third year. Third year, okay. On that. And so uh, last year, I think we had just over 400 stockings. Uh, that folks come in and pick up here. They pick up a Christmas stocking from okay. us. Uh, they're giving a list of items that can be donated within that stocking. And the people will decorate the stockings. They'll put the items in there. They'll bring them back to us. Okay. And that usually starts um, uh, November 1st through December 1st. And uh, we connect with the uh, uh, veterans organization in Chicago, the USO, and they will ship the stockings. Um, the first year they went to Afghanistan. Okay. Uh, last year they went out to California to some bases out there. And so it's, it's a beautiful thing uh, yeah. when, the, when these soldiers that serve our country so bravely um, you know, receive these at Christmas is just a great thing. And, and again, the community, uh, they're just they're outpouring for that, especially, you know, I've, the teachers will bring them up for uh, classrooms to do. We had uh, the high school uh, Athletic department got involved last year, oh, and they picked up a hundred stockings alone for uh, high school athletes to do. Wow! Um, and so, yeah, we would we'd like to see the, those stockings grow to five or six hundred this year. Yeah. And yeah. how many did you do last we year? We did four hundred last 400. year. Four hundred. Okay. Our, our first year, we did just about three hundred. Okay. And so, yeah, it was, it's an exciting pro program when they. Get, get donated we just put them up in the lobby and just fill the lobby up so when oh, that's people, amazing people come in they can see them or we have services here we just want to celebrate what the community's done can so. you share with us a little bit about the pre-planning uh, side of this and and the benefits of you know what that takes off of the family when they're having to go through that situation yeah thank you for the opportunity uh, to explain that Nick I know what it's probably our second most asked question over cremation is you know what's this pre-planning thing and, it, and it's been around it got popular in the late 80s. It started when it came to funeral trusts. But in a nutshell, there's probably probably three ways I would look at that. First of all, you, you want to um, start having a conversation within your family about um, how do you want your life to be celebrated? Because mm -hmm. there's going to be a time when that's going to have to happen. And so how do you want your life to be celebrated? And then, you know, give us a call or call the funeral home that you're comfortable with. Set up a time to meet with a director and start putting your wishes down and figuring out what a cost would be if the funeral was going to be held today. And we walk somebody through the complete process from A to Z so all the decisions are made 
and their family doesn't really have to make a whole lot of them. Right. That that burden of going, oh my gosh, what did dad want? Or what did mom want? They never talked about it. Or they said we had things done, but we're not sure where the information's at. And so when people call us to pre-plan, we simply have them come in, have an appointment. We sit down and walk through everything that could be possibly happen. Uh, we write down their biographical information, their family members. We go over what the cost would be today. And then we have that information on file, so when something happens, you know, it's ready to be taken care of. Right. The second point part to that would be setting up how are you going to pay for it. Sure. And the state of Indiana is, is one of the best states out there. They have what's called an irrevocable funeral trust. Okay. And simply, it means irrevocable means nobody can touch the money. It's set aside. It's strictly paid for funeral arrangements. And so if that individual has an issue down the road if they're going to go on Medicaid, it's protected from Medicaid, those type of things. So the cost is determined today. That money is deposited into a funeral trust, and it sits there until it's needed. Wow. And so a couple things happen. In the state of Indiana, it's required to be irrevocable. Nobody can touch the money. The second thing is the state requires that the funeral home guarantees that they're going to provide those services and that merchandise for whatever amount of money is in the trust. Oh, wow. And so it's not an investment. Sure. The trust will grow a little bit, but when the death does occur, the funeral cost is figured out at that time, which is going to be more because of inflation. Sure. And the, basically, the funeral bill is submitted to the trust. The trust pays the funeral home. Excellent. The biggest question I have in that is, what if there's not enough money in the trust? Well, the state of Indiana says we have to guarantee it. And so if the trust doesn't grow enough to meet our inflationary costs, that's the funeral home's loss. Mm -hmm. If it does, that's the funeral home's gain. Sure. It's, it's a beautiful gift, and the people who experience it, they don't, re they don't receive the gift until mom or dad's gone. Right. And, but when they, when they do receive the gift, they realize how much of it, what it means. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Um, I know you guys have been doing tremendous things in the community, helping families for a long, long time, and I just wanted to personally... Thank you for that. I know you've taken care of, uh, you know, some of my family members, some of my friends, um, and uh, people that we've lost way too soon. And you guys have done it with uh, just a, a, an amazing heart through the entire process. So, Dale, I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to meet with us today. A lot of great information. I know the the community. It's uh, it's something obviously. Uh, with the businesses that work with us, this isn't a place that they walk into every single sure. day. But I love the fact that when they do walk in there, it's a familiar face for them to know and, and somebody that they, they feel like they can, they can trust and that right. cares. Thanks so much, Dan. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah.